Hey guys, Zoliax here and welcome to another Airlines Manager video. Uh, this is going to be a nice short one. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to access the return route when uh, you are trying to do a route between two of your hubs. Um, so for this one I will show you uh, Addis Ababa on my list. Where is it? And I'm just about to purchase Nairobi as a hub, uh, just to make it a bit easier for me to uh, find it. So if, if we put in here NBO, you can see that I have Nairobi as a as a route from Addis Ababa, uh, and I have a little bit of demand left on that. So if I go ahead then and purchase my hub in Nairobi, when it decides to load this is taking awfully long it's not that many countries in Africa surely here we go let's go to Kenya Nairobi and I'll purchase that straight off so if we then go into your network management and you go down to Nairobi you will see that you have no routes whatsoever so in order to do this you need to have a route so I'm just gonna go ahead quickly purchase a route that I know I'm gonna do just to get one in there select a random aircraft so in order for this to work it can't be a fresh new hub it has to have a route in it of some sorts. Uh, oh, I'm going to go for Mombasa because I know I'm going to go for that. Have that route. I'll purchase that route, and I will sort that out later. Uh, you also obviously need an aircraft stationed at your new hub. So I happen to have an aircraft that I purchased earlier. When it decides to sort itself out, there it is. Uh, I'm going to configure it and change it over to Nairobi. Yes. And then I'm going to schedule. Now, obviously, as you can see, Mombasa is the only option we have. However, if you click on Mombasa just to get into the schedule page, at the top left side, you will see access routes. If you click on access routes, as you can see there, you have a lot more than just the one route. So obviously I own Johannesburg, Cape Town and Addis Ababa as my hubs. But from here I can now schedule the return journey from Nairobi to Addis Ababa. Obviously for this the um, the demand is shared across um, both ways. So it's not a separate demand so you, you can't double up on it on a route for example. It just allows you to have that option of having an aircraft that's based out of your other hub flying to that other uh, to your other hubs. Um, so as you can see with this one with uh, Nairobi to Addis Ababa, I've already completed the demand with my flights coming from Addis. So I'm going into negative demand going from Nairobi. Uh, if I show you a different one like Cape Town, for example, because I've only got 40%, it also shows you percentages on your... Uh, access routes so as you can see here you know I've got 40 45 percent for my Cape Town to Nairobi route so I could then quite easily schedule the return journey and I'll still have apart from the business class and first class um, but obviously it's a shared demand so just make sure you keep that in mind um, obviously it doesn't make a difference really like money wise whether you um, start from one or the other um, but that's how you access the return leg uh, so starting from your second hub rather than starting at the one that you originally purchased the first route from so I hope that's just been a nice quick informative show for you uh, so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you again in the next video goodbye